Here I am in the attack script, and the first thing I want to fix is the register, this code right here. Because this happens during the update animation, and many characters could be sharing the same scriptable object, the attacker could be mixed up. So instead of registering during the update of the animation, I want to do it right in the beginning, when the animation starts, which is here, the reset. So I'm going to put in the attacker's information, or who the attacker is, right in the beginning, the reset function. And I just got to go into the definition and fix it there. Pass on the parameter. And we just got to delete the attacker here from the register. Attacker. Okay. Let's save both of the scripts. And everything should be exactly the same, except registering the attacker just happens earlier on, right in the beginning of the animation. So everything looks fine. Looks good. And here is the second fix. If I look at the character, I don't want to detect trigger from the very top of the hierarchy because that's going to detect triggers for this box collider as well. I don't want that. I only want to detect trigger from the body parts. So I'm going to create a separate script for detecting triggers, trigger detector. And I'm going to go into character control. And I'm going to go down to the part where we're setting up the body parts for the ragdoll. Here it is. And for each of the body parts, I want to add that trigger component, trigger detector. And if I go up a little bit, this is the code that I want to have with the trigger detector, not in the character control. So I'm going to press Control T look for the trigger detector. Here it is. Let's go in there and copy paste it in. I also want the namespace. Just put it in there. And let me change the variable names just to be clear. So here's the attacker. Okay, same here, attacker. And we just need access to character control, which is the owner of this detector. And I want to do it in the very beginning of the game. Get component from parent, or get component in parent. Okay. And the owner is going to have the ragdoll parts. Okay. Here's the owner. owner. Here as well. So everything's exactly the same, except this code has moved to trigger detector from the character control. So we don't need it here anymore. Delete it. Save both of the scripts. Let's go back and play. So I'm going to look at the dummy character. And if we look at each of the parts, hips, for example, again, it will now have the trigger detector. And same thing with the other body parts. Here it is. And whenever it detects some kind of collision, that part is going to be registered. Okay. It's exactly the same. And if I punch, the character dies as usual. I want to fine tune the timing of the impact, so I'm going to exit play mode and I'm going to go into that scriptable object. Here it is. Let's go into the attack script and we're going to attach this to Unity. Click here 
and I'm now going to go down to the register part here, press F9 and go back and play. That's going to be the breakpoint and see what happens if I punch. The code stops right there. So right now that would be the 20% uh, of the animation. I want it to happen a little earlier, so I'm going to stop and make this 0 0.15 and then do the same thing. Touch to Unity, and then click play. And if I press attack, okay, the register part happens a little earlier. I like this better. And I also want to check the finish part, which is here. Again, F9, attach to Unity, and attack. So it looks like the deregister happens a little too quick. So I'm going to stop and maybe 50% of the animation. Let's play again. Okay. So 50% is where he pulls a punch a little bit. Mm, I think I want 52%, just a little more. Okay. Okay, I like that a little better. So exit play mode, and let's save the scene. So from 15% of the animation all the way to 52% is where the actual impact occurs. Now let's make sure that we've applied everything. And I'm gonna click play just to check. Okay, looks good. And I think here should be another bug. So even after the player dies, the box collider is still there. Let's fix that. I'm gonna go into the damage detector. And I'm gonna look at take damage function. And here when the player dies, we wanna turn off the box collider. Just turn it off, false. And we also want the rigid body to stop functioning, I guess. So just stop using it, stop using the gravity. And if I go back and play, once the character dies, the box collider is no longer active. And just for testing, let me try out attacking both characters at the same time. I just want to see what happens. So turn on manual input for dummy and the character. I think this was expected. There's still a lot of details that we haven't implemented yet, but I'm happy that we got the basic attacking and register function working. And I think that's enough for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.